How are you in general? Good, good book. Very, very good book. Doing very well lately. How's uh, the series coming along? Good. Um, we are, uh, we've been airing for about five, six weeks na po. Um, mas nagiging intense na po yung story kasi nasa point na po kami na very limited na lang po yung time ni Stefano. Um, he is terminally ill so he's not doing any better. He refused treatment already. So nando na po kami sa point na medyo ano na, crucial na kumbaga yung mga last few moments with Stefano in the in the story po. So okay po kasi nag-pick up po ang aming ratings. Mas consistent na po ngayon we've been winning in terms of ratings po. So we are very grateful kasi at least more and more viewers are watching Love of My Life. So mas intense na yung mga scenes at mas malaki na yung demand sa'yo? Medyo, opo. Um, in terms of intensity ng scenes po, I believe we're done na po with, kasi with the death of Stefano po, parang wala na pong masasakit doon. Pero in terms of the story, yung intensity, hindi naman po magda-die down, hindi I'm naman sure. po bababa. But kumbaga mag-iiba lang po ng focus. Uh, kasi syempre yung mga maiiwan po ni Stefano sa family niya doon na po mag-focus sa family members po yung, kung ano pa yung mangyayari po sa mga characters na maiiwan Wakasan ba tong series na to? Ano pong wakasan? Like you know na no matter how well it does hmm. talagang ang dito lang ang story oh. Kasi di ba may ganun? Actually I don't think don't so know. I don't think so po kasi um, when it The, when the story was presented to us po, yun po yung aking initial thoughts din na parang okay, it's very simple, it's straightforward there's a family dealing with somebody's death okay, so what happens, di ba? ano yung mga anong mangyayari, na saan mapupunta yung mana o ano, paano yung funeral, yung ganito ganyan, so ano na mangyayari after, so in all fairness naman po to the writers ang ganda pa rin po ng takbo ng story even after the death ang dami pa rin po pa lang pwedeng ipakita sa characters, may ibang side pa po pala sila. And mas actually mas nagdevelop pa yung story kasi may mga mangyayari pa po. So in all fairness to the writers, parang they were able to follow through. Para uh, ang ganda pa rin po nung nung takbo ibang Stefano Stefano. So, ang dami pa po pa lang pwedeng mangyari. And maganda pa rin po, something to look forward to. Sa lahat ng nagawa mo, bakit ito iba? Bakit ito iba? I would say number one, kasi palaban po yung aking character na si Adele. Um, hindi po kasi siya yung typical na character or role that I've portrayed na kawawa. Laging, uh, ano lang, tahimik, hindi lumalaban. Um, ap- api With this one, as Adele in Love of My Life, she knows what is right. She knows kung ano po yung rights niya. Pinaglalaban niya to the point na sometimes she tends to forget kung sino po yung nakakabangga niya. Mm-hmm. So I like her kasi she's feisty. Medyo empowering po sa, sa isang babae, sa isang asawa. So I like her kasi matapang po si Adele. Hindi siya yung basta-basta nagpapa-appear kawawa. Like you? Hey, actually, ano naman po, if it's something that I know is worth fighting for, I will fight for it. Pero, ang um, difference lang po between Carla and Adele is si Carla, pag-iisipan po muna ng mabuti bago sasabak sa away or argument. Si Adele po kasi, may times na uh, instinct eh, it just comes out, napapa-argue siya, napapa-away po siya, na yun nga po, nakakalimutan niya na, wait, mother in mo yung kausap mo, ganito, ganyan. So, may times na kumbaga um kumbaga parang wala na po sa lugar si Adele. Carla hindi naman po ganoon kasi sayang naman po makikipag-away tayo or makikipag-argue tayo na uncalled for or hindi naman po kailangan or, or dahil lang po sa emotion. So si Adele po kasi is nagpapadala siya sa emotions niya na unahan po ng galit. Si Carla hindi naman po kailangan. Kamusta ang dynamics ng acting nyo together in a scene ni Tom? Considering you've been doing it for so many times and iba't ibang uh, projects. Okay po, kasi we've played so many roles together in several projects na po in the past. 
Pero I would say, actually, coming, parang after my husband's lover po, ito na po yung parang sumunod na drama. Mm-hmm. Um, pero, hindi naman po ito, itong drama na ito is hindi naman po as intense as my husband's lover. Kasi ang dynamic po ng role niya doon. Uh-huh. Uh, dito is pretty much straightforward. He gets married um, and is ill and then that's it. Um, in terms of working relationship, ganun pa rin naman po, wala pa rin po nagbago. Uh, pero bilib ako kay Tom kasi nagampanan po niya ng maigi yung role na Stefano in Love of My Life. And at the same time, he was able to enjoy it very well. So, namiss ko pong katrabaho si Tom and makita yung, yung saya niya mm-hmm. with, with the role that he was playing. So, yun po. Paano nagbago, Carla, ang um, relationship mo with your fans oh. through the years? Mm, parang ano naman po, there have been fans uh, I haven't seen in a long time. Mm-hmm. May mga fans po na wala na po dyan. And then napakarami naman po ding nadagdag. Kung baga sab, sino nga ba yung nagsabi sa akin? And somebody once told me na ganun talaga, they, the fans, they come and go. Uh-huh. Um, there are fans who will be there from start to finish talaga, hindi bibitaw. And will always show their support. And then there are fans na, ay, you know, dun lang pala hanggang dun lang sila. Uh, may mga times din po na napapansin namin na may mga fans din po na nagka-clash. Especially pag nag-perform na po sila ng mga groups po nila or clubs po nila. Hindi ko po alam kung bakit, pero parang hindi po maiwasan na nagka-clash din po sila. So, may mga ganun. I think it was Tom who said that nga na they just come and go. Let's just be grateful for who else is still there. And then kung sino yung you know, nag- nag-support. Uh, pero nawala. So, okay naman po. Kasi in all fairness, yung mga fans fr- po namin from years ago, nandyan pa rin po. Hindi naman din po kami bibigyan ng GMA ng chance to work together kung wala din pong demand from the fans. Napakadami pa rin pong Tom Carr fans. And um, hopefully, hindi po sila magsawa para mas mabigyan pa po kami ni Tom ng chance to make more projects po. But I mean, like, especially nung nagsisimula ka, Carl, ang impression ko sa iyo is, work is work. I have uh, my own life. I will be protective of that okay, privacy. Yes, I've actually been quite a private person. Hindi po ako yung type na I divulge everything uh, sa public. Hindi po ako ganun. Siguro po because I was raised that way. Although my grandmother and my father are celebrities, I was, I've always been a quiet person, very private, very reserved. And hindi din naman po ako yung type ng artista na naniniwala na kailangan lahat sabihin, uh-huh. i-divulge or i-expose. Hanggang ngayon? Hanggang ngayon po. Mm-hmm. Kasi we have to, you know, keep some privacy to ourselves because we're, our lives are already an open book. Napakadami po, lalo na with social media, ang dali pong malaman lahat about a particular person. Uh, so, try, ako, I've always believed that you should try to at least keep some naman po to yourself, lalo na if it's something private or personal, like family, you know, family matters mm-hmm. or yung sa relationship po namin ni Tom. So, there are times naman po and there are things na it, that are okay to share, pero okay. may times naman po and may mga bagay-bagay din po na dapat, ano lang, sa inyo lang, amongst yourselves lang po. So, we'll never see you and Tom as sweet as maybe Jack and Barbie sa YouTube yeah. channel nila. Ay, kapag- okay lang, wala problema po. Si, ang aking YouTube channel po, actually, the fans have been demanding for more of Tom. They've been requesting for more appearances from Tom. Na inexplain ko naman po sa kanila na hindi naman po po pwedeng lahat na lang po ng aking vlog episodes. Eh, puro Tom. So, syempre, this is my vlog. I want people to see you, me, di ba? Me, behind the scenes po, off camera, yung aking life po. Um, and, of course, Tom also has his own life. Uh, hindi naman din laging nagtutugma yung aming schedule and hindi naman din po palaging available si Tom na oh, mag-vlog tayo yung ganun po. But si Tom naman po, when given the chance, he's always very game naman po to appear in my vlog. Kahit magpa-jack Barbie pa kami or what, mag-games kami or mag-pranks kami. He's open naman po to anything uh, for my YouTube channel. You're different. You're not a crowd pleaser. Hindi po. Hindi gaano. 
Um, it's not something that I worry about. It's, I mean, hindi naman kung sa in-expect ko po, di ba, na automatic yan. Dapat meron, dapat may demand, dapat may attention, yung ganyan. But, you know, if there's attention and if there's a demand, then very good. Pero kung wala din, okay lang. Don't be hard on yourself. You know, kanya-kanya yan. Ang dami-dami pong celebrities ngayon, so kung dahil pong mga artista, kanya-kanya lang din po yan ang mga ng style, mm-hmm. ng career, ng image, kanya-kanya mm-hmm. pong fans, and of course, the public, the fans, kanya-kanya din, din po sila ng mga favorite. So, okay lang po. Kasi kung gusto mong mas padamihin yung subscribers, gusto mong mas malaki would, yung likes, you, know, you okay. would. Di ba, if you're give. desperate uh-huh. enough, you would give <laughs> into what if, you would give into what they are requesting. Uh, may pressure din naman po, and of course, I would love to give the fans what they want, pero, may times naman din na either hindi kakayanin po talagang i-execute or iba lang talaga yung gusto ko pong ilabas or i-focus on. So, ano lang po, kumaga, eh, ito lang yung ilalabas natin eh. <laughs> ganyan Parang din. okay na yan, yan na yan. Parang ganun po. Ganyan ka din ba sa karera mo? Like, there are projects na kahit alam mong mm. eh, mas magbuboom ka mm. doon. You put a stop to it because... It actually really depends po. It really depends. And it's not something that I decide on solely. Um, involved po ang network and ang aking manager at all times. May times nga po na nasa receiving line na lang po ako. Kumbaga, the network and my manager decide for me. So, may mga times po na ganun. Pag may chance naman po that I get a say on a particular project or something um, and they ask for my opinion, binibigay ko naman po. Pero hindi po siya completely nasa control ko po. Kung baga, sometimes I give my full trust. Well, not sometimes, but at uh, most times I give my full trust to the network and to my manager to decide for me po. When was the last time you thought about the future? And what were Parang your kagabi, thoughts? kagabi po. Oh. Yes, kagabi. Kasi siguro uh, the other night, um, of course, Tom and I were all we were again asked about our plans of settling down. So, hindi po maiwasan na, oh nga, mapapaisip na naman po kami. So, it was maybe around last night po na sabi ko nga, Teka, oh nga, shucks, March na pala. March 2020 na uh, I've been so busy with love of my life na It's been, kumbaga, kicking off ang bilis-bilis. Sabi ko, teka, o nga pala, ano nga, let's make plans for this year, parang gano'n. Hindi naman po sa kung nag ako. Oh. Hindi ko naman din po pinipressure si Tom. Pero, parang, wala, nag-imagine lang po. Most particularly, particularly about siguro the house that we plan to build uh, together po na... Sabi ko, kung this year na po kaya namin simulan magpatayo ng bahay, may mga ganun po. So, yun po. Kung baga, thinking of the future, particularly yung bahay po na ipapatayo namin. Ito tour mo ba ang mm. viewers ng Why channel not? mo? Yes, opo. Pwede naman po. Pero matagal-tagal pa because it will take time to build and all that. So, Buti hindi kayo napepressure, kakatanong namin. Kasalanan yeah. namin to eh. <laughs> hindi naman po. Okay lang, sanay na po kami. You understand that it's just people being yes, happy for course, you? Yes, of course, of course. Okay. Mm. Talaga. Okay, what are your other interests? Like, I know last mm. week, uh, nag-vlog ka about going to Taa. Yes, oh. po. Kasi uh, I've been an animal welfare advocate since way before show business. It's something that I still fight for until today. Uh, buti na lang po at that time of the Ta- Taal Volcano eruption, wala pa ko kaming taping for love of my life. We took a break po uh, before the holidays. And then I was given a chance to go with boss po to Batangas. Until today, every day naman po sila pumupunta doon. So, nakapag-feed uh, po kami ng mga animals that are that were left behind mm-hmm. in one of the danger zones. Um, oh, that was two weeks ago, correct? Yung vlog po na yun. Tomorrow, meron po akong bagong vlog. Um, it's still related to that po, yung animal welfare. Pero ano na siya, parang mas happy naman po. Mas, mas, mas good news po yung lalabas sa vlog to me. Saan nagsimula ang love mo for animals? It's because I was raised by animal lovers from my lola down to my mom and my siblings. Lahat po kami lumaki kasi talaga sa household na may mga pets po. Um, we raised a lot of dogs um, growing up and I had 
pets na iba-iba pong klase talaga. I was able to have a pet chicken, a pet a duck, pet a chicken. pet lizard, a pet rat, a pet guinea pig, hamster. Uh, lahat po ng parang pwede. Hi, yes, eh. Lahat po ng pwedeng gawing pet naranasan ko po growing up. It's because it's in the family po kasi talaga. So we were raised to respect animals and, and care for animals and have compassion. So how many? It's in the family. How many do you have now? I have right now. I have four. Um, I have a Jack Russell Terrier who is turning nine this May. I have a Yorkshire Terrier uh, who just turned seven, and then I have two Aspens po na kaka-adapt ko lang po from post. So four. Uh, I only live in an apartment po kasi maliit lang. So I wish to have more pets. Kaya lang hindi na po kakayanin ng space. Maliit lang po nga space sa bahay. So. But hopefully in our dream home sa future po, we have more dogs and iba-ibang breed din po or iba-ibang klase po. Ang next na lipat mo na siguro kung magpakasal na kayo or pag nagpakasal na kayo. Correct. Yes, we will hopefully start building a house kung hindi po this year, next year po. Kasi nakabili na po kami ng lot nito. Oh, yeah, that's a sign. So yung construction na lang po talaga yung medyo hinihintay. Kailangan lang po uh, mag-ipon pa po ng konti para at least hindi na po gaano. Kalaki yung pupunin namin loan if ever from the bank to start building the house. Oh, that's a sign. Malapit at least may lot na po. <laughs> malapit na malapit na. Yes, sana po. Tsaka huwag naman po sana mauna yung bahay. Sana mauna naman yung wedding. Kasi mas crucial po yun. Bilag na clock is ticking na po. So, but okay lang. Kung ano naman po ang mauna, okay lang din po. Oh, last part na ng interview ko. Anong klaseng wedding ang gusto mo? Honestly, I haven't really thought about the details po. But one thing is for sure is I wanted to be in a church. Definitely, bilang Catholic po kami pareho nito. Simbahan po kami ikakasal. Definitely po yan. Uh, hopefully, huwag naman po civil or hindi naman po ito beach wedding na sa ano, maga church. Kaya sa church po kami ikakasal. I still don't know kung ano pong Kasi hindi ko po talaga alam kung gusto ko ba ng garden reception or sa hotel, destination wedding. Hindi ko pa po naisip yung mga ganon. I cannot parang completely envision how it's going to look like. Pero definitely, I would want something that number one is intimate, number two is romantic, uh, classic looking and elegant. Yun, yun lang po. But yung mga details, details na po yun hindi ko pa po masyadong napag-iisipan. When you say intimate, that would be just 300 maybe? Hopefully, kung kakayanin po ng 300 lang or less. Kung hindi naman po kakayanin, okay lang naman din po to go over 300. But it, I don't want it to be a really grand, big wedding na napakadami pong guests because I would want to be able to really go around and, oh. and interact with everybody kasi kapag masyado na pong malaki napakadami na pong bisita parang hindi po lahat eh na kakausap sa wedding day itself so parang nakakapanginayang naman po na you know it's such an important occasion tapos hindi mo makakausap yung lahat ng bisita or bawat bisita so ano lang po kasi especially because Tom and I are quite private persons um Parang, ano po talaga, we would prefer something that's more intimate na talagang para lang for family, relatives, friends, hindi yung mga ka-close lang po na. Will the fans know as it's happening or after na lang? Siyempre naman po, kasi parang hindi rin, parang ang hirap po ng ano, ang hirap po ng ginagawa ng iba mag-pull off ng mga secret weddings. It's something that's so hard to, parang keep to yourself. Parang, siyempre, you would want to share something like that. Um, to the world and be excited about. So, ang hirap po na hindi i- i- parang i-express na, you know, ito, we're getting married, ito, malapit na, may countdown. So, hindi naman po, it's not something that we, we would like to keep a secret. Or, ano, so, so, syempre, you can't invite everyone naman. Hindi naman po yan malalaman ng mga tao na after na po. Huwag uh-huh. naman po ganun. Okay, uh, two more questions. First, career plans <laughs> okay, for the rest of the year? Plans. Ah, yes. Um, hmm, not necessarily career, but plans po for this year. Number one, I have been working on a particular business that hopefully we will launch this year. Ever since summer po of last year, we've been planning about it. We've been preparing. 
um, it's a business na sa akin po nakapangalan. Hopefully this year i-launch na po namin. Anong klase? Can you, um, can you say that? products po siya. Okay. It's, uh, it has something to do with products. Ayoko po may preempt, but it's something that um, people can buy. Okay. So, ano pa ba? There have been movie offers po for this year. Scripts that have been sent to us na po for reading. Uh, but we'll see po, depende din po sa aking manager kung alin po yung mga tatanggapin namin. But yeah, hopefully this year, makagawa po ulit ng movie. Finally, how do you keep the music playing? Saan po? Sa inyo ni Tom. Ah, sa amin ni Tom. Um, basta kami po kasi ni Tom, in terms of our relationship, being both celebrities po kasi, we try to keep as much about our relationship as, as private as possible. Hindi po kami yung type of couple, celebrity couple na very loud po on social media, very expressive. We don't share everything and anything to the public. We keep some to ourselves. Um, although, syempre, alam naman po namin that there are so many fans um, who love seeing us together, hearing from us, seeing what we're doing. Mm, may mga times po talaga na yung sa amin lang po talaga is sa amin lang po. Um, we try our best to uh, spend as much time as possible despite our busy schedules po. Uh, kahit po paano nanonood pa rin po kami ng movies, kumakain pa rin po kami sa labas. Uh, namimili pa rin po kami ng, ng mga kung ano-ano po together. So, meron naman po, hindi po pwedeng mawala yun. And of course, we, we talk every day. Kailangan constant po ang communication, whether through text po yan or phone call. Uh, kailangan every day mag-uusap po. And then yun, from time to time, eh, makapagbakasyon din po. Ganun na lang. Saan so, pa kayo magbabakasyon next? Mm, ah, okay. Uh, sa beach po, uh, by June, Hopefully, we'll see po. Depende po kung tapos na po ang love of my life by then. But meron na po kami, may naset na po akong plans to go to the beach po with Tom around June po. Abroad? Hindi po, tita lang pa sa Philippines. Because of COVID, ano? Hindi naman po. Hindi Kasi naman. actually, nabuko na po yung flight noon. Last year pa po, even before At the dito? coronavirus um, outbreak. outbreak. Yes, so po happened. So, hindi naman po. Basta dito lang po, sa Philippines lang po, beach, out of town lang po. So, yun. Nabuko na po yung flights last year pa. No occasion? No occasion naman po. Basta ano lang? Summer, parang ganun. Saka Summer. birthday ko rin po kasi sa June. Ah, okay. So parang siguro parang post-birthday celebration. Parang 